yesterday I was arrested from DC headquarters and uh, taken to Langata police station from Langata police station I was moved to Kibra I want to thank all those who came for me and who fought with me uh, Wakili Kilifo Mbeta, Wakili Solunka Pareno, Wakili Wanja um, uh, I also want to appreciate all tiktokers that came I want to appreciate every single one of you that came to support me Lakini sasa there is something I noticed I was being arrested on a day when something big is happening in the country so that uh, either they divert attention from what is happening or because something big is happening everybody's attention will be in parliament for the impeachment and therefore they can do whatever they want because my followers will not be focused now there's something i want to say i have fought i have the scars i've tried and i'm continuing to try and astaki could give up and i'm not going to give up i'm requesting all kenyans to kindly permit me to go on a small break break to your skumbili tatu tu ya kwenda tu rest so that i think of a new strategy i'm not going on holiday in mombasa or diani so that museme ah ile pesa tulichanga meda na holiday no i'll be in the office i'll be with my team doing strategy but there's one thing i've realized and i want to say on twitter that is on x i have 260000 followers on TikTok, I have 600,000 followers. But the people that came to support me yesterday are about 30 people. So where were the rest of these people? Okay, kuna wenye, of course, they are not within Nairobi and it was happening in Nairobi. Na kuna wenye, maybe wakuna strict employers, walikuwa job. Na kuna wenye wakongambo. But I don't expect kwamba likuwa na faa kukosa watu kama 200 or 300 to stand with me. So, kazi isi kuange tu ati muna like content yangu muna comment on the work that i do but si kwenye ngori imenishika ama niko kwa shida you don't show up for me because if you don't show up for me how will i show up for you if you don't fight for me how will i stay alive to fight for you lazima munishikilie na mimi ndo niweze kuwashikilia lazima mkufe na mimi ndio niweze kukufa na nyinyi so msiniachilie hivyo tena in fact afadhali msinichangie do for anything but mkuwe present kuni support na kunipea hiyo emotional support na at least kuonyesha kwamba we support this boy now whenever i say oh rigathi gashagwe is corrupt uh, and uh, his impeachment is not a loss people say you are a, a root of mole when i say william ruto is corrupt this person should not continue holding power in kenya you people say i am a gashagwe mole so inamaanisha hakuna kitu nitafanya ni kwa se critics and that's okay even in the 2022 election, Ruto didn't get all the votes. He got 7 million votes, but there are 6, 6 million people who voted for Aila. Yeah? So it means it's not everybody who's going to believe in you. And I'm not saying everybody should believe in me. All I'm saying is please stop killing emerging leaders. Nime realize, because your trend, your tabia iko sana kwa X. Watu wa Facebook, kata kama, watu wa Facebook na TikTok wana shida sana. Watu wa X, kuna hiki tumnaita deplatforming where every leader that emerges akifanya ka mistake kadogo hivi you don't correct you deplatform so you kill all leaders to the enjoyment of corrupt people so watu wako corrupt wana enjoy sana because wanajua anybody who comes up mtammaliza nyinyi wenyewe so hakuna haja hata ajisumbue you are your own enemies you are going to finish these leaders and let me say, there are people who say, oh, we should not center our movement around individuals. We should only center it around ideologies. The problem in Kenya is not ideologies. The problem in Kenya is not laws. The problem in Kenya is not policies. We have beautiful policies, beautiful laws, beautiful manifestos. The problem in Kenya is individuals. Me, I never knew that there is something called the Kenya Film and Classification Board until Ezekiel Mutua was there. So why did I know it? I knew it because there was an individual making an impact in that institution. Let me tell you, individuals are very powerful in terms of making institutions to have the trust of the public. That's why we trusted the judiciary when Maraga was there. So don't pull down individuals. Support them, mentor them, and allow them to make mistakes. I don't know why you are, you, you, you are expecting angels. If you, are, if you are holding these corrupt leaders to the same standard that you hold emerging leaders, it will be so good. But sasa, when you want to rise, 
Unajaribu kutengeneza chama kama inject party nini nini. Muna wa di platform, muna wa kejeli, muna wa darau. Yet these are the people trying to make practical steps towards change. Remember complaining cannot help us anymore. Yes, you can be online complaining, but what practical step are you making towards change in our country? So, mambo ya kusema di platform, huyu nini? These leaders are supposed to be allowed to make mistakes. Stop stressing them. Wacheni kuwafanya wakae ni kama sasa ati all of a sudden mtu mlikuwa mnatetea sana, sasa amekuwa mjinga sana. No. Give them a chance to make mistakes, correct them, mentor them. We are in a process of mentoring leaders of integrity to take power in Kenya. Stop deplatforming everyone. Wape a chance. Sawa sawa. And this problem I've seen it more so on X. Na mimi nataka kuambia watu wa X. I really enjoy a lot of support there and I'm happy for the people when you're menishikilia na wamepigana na mimi. Lakini wale wananiuzia uoga at we will deplatform you. You should know I was not born on X. I was born on TikTok. Na niko na fair I can go home. So please, let us stick together. Let's fight together. Let's stop in fighting. Let's stop fighting amongst ourselves. We are making these people happy. Hii impeachment ya gashagwa ikiisha, we need just one brave member of parliament. Just one to put an impeachment motion for William Ruto. Then after that, all Kenyans, we need to fall behind that person and we need to look for our MPs and force them to support that impeachment motion. And I want to tell you guys, by the way, William Ruto does not plan to have a, an election in 2027. It's not within his plan. That's why they filed proxy cases in the high court, in the political parties tribunal so as to delay the formation of IEBC. This guy does not plan to have an election in 2027. And if he's going to have an election in 2027, he will make sure it is a sham election where he wins by 98% like Kagame. That means we who are challenging this government like me, Kinokio Mutata and the rest, we are going to have a very rough time.